Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Just in time below, I am doing that. I've never done this video before. Uh, what I have, like, regarding, like, medical supplies stuff. But, I got some new stuff and exciting news that I got my port supplies. Finally, because it took them a what, two or three weeks for them to get my supplies. So it was like a back and forth from well, my dad tried to put in order, then they sent it to my home house, and then my home house tried to send it to insurance. And then I sent it back to them, and then back to my doctor, and then back to my home house, back in insurance, and then insurance back to my home house. So I finally got it today, like, say 30, 40 minutes, or maybe an hour. I was kind of in for sure. But, so I want to show you the stuff that I got from my IV supplies. I do need to check out my boxes. Bring my food sugar. So the stuff that came in the box right over there, so I bought this stuff. This is the stuff that came in. I already have one. Um, from my pick line. This is a bigger one, and then they gave me a small one. Also, so either tomorrow or, the, or next week, I'm gonna be accessing my port. You can leave it access for seven days. Seven, some fucking days, I suppose. So, if I do tomorrow, it's just Friday. So, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday. So between Thursday or Wednesday, I would take it out. It depends how much I need it or use it for. But for me, it's only like once or twice a week, my IV fluid. So, yes. So, my stuff container out here. And then the artist sent me some gloves. I already have two packets of these. The reason why I'm gonna need gloves, and these are, I believe these are the dentistry. But I have two of these uh, right here. One is already open, so I'll probably use that one. And then I bought this from the store with my own money. Well, my mom got it for me because I didn't have the money to get it. But this is what I also got to clean my site. If I don't, if I don't have the stuff from out of my home house, is not able to get the stuff that I need to clean it with. I have this. You can get them at Walmart or Amazon. Uh, no, they have these at Walmart. And so at the um, apartment, so I got this for it to clean my pool and everything. And then the first show right here is my IV for fluid. So I had to cover it because it had my stuff on it, but I have this IV stuff. I actually have two different ones. And so I have this one. And then I'll also, this, this one is a lack of tarot of Ringo injection. So this one, just normal sodium, potassium, uh, calcium, and stuff like that. I was so close to get my, my medication, but I'm going to ask um, my home heart and call my doctor tomorrow about my medication that I need. And then I'll try the sodium chloride, um, chloride or whatever, how do you say it? So I got this one too. It's like a sodium water ingestion. It is the thousand amounts and um, I believe it's this one, yeah, it's the same amount. So I got those two. And then I have my power, my power port the set that I got, a power port. If you haven't seen my video from my surgery and the hospitals and stuff about my port, make sure y'all go watch that. 
and then I also have this one that is not open. Um, it's just that lock, uh, with that lock and that, but I don't personally use that lock anymore, so, and then I think it's this. So, I do need to call my dad tomorrow because they didn't give me a pump, and I request a pump. I don't really love gravity. I'm not scared of gravity because gravity is safe forever. On top of that, I can't put it in my backpack. Okay, it with me. So this is my port also. So the port is not used to five ml of Harper and Sterling every 28 days. After infusion, use 10 ml and then uh, Harper and and after blood return, you use 20 sodium, and then after injection, uh, 10 sodium in that. Which is, I'm about to show you my food. I already know how to do it because the hospital showed me, um, Mark Baton when I was in the ER. The nurse just taught me how to do it because the doctor said I can. And I asked the hospital if they could show me, and they showed me how to clean it. And they also showed me how to access and be access it and all of that. But I'm still gonna have a nurse to come out also to access it too. So even if the day starts they can't come. And if I can't have a nurse come out, my mom can um access it herself because she's also a nurse but uh, she's an avian. So yes. And then I also, the little ones that I got, uh, the black ones, black ones, um, so yeah, the new, these are the 22 gauge times 0.75 hugo noodles, so I got this time because I tried them out at the hospital when I was in the ER. Then I'll be fluid and blood work and all that stuff, so that. This was for my pig line. I don't think I'm gonna use this. This one. And then they also sent a load of these caps to put on my stuff. So this is what I can also use for my needle. But, I don't have it, so to put it on top of it. So it's basically the same thing like this. I would have to change them out. I was told you have to change them out like once or twice, like once or every other day. No, once a day or twice a day. How is it? I don't know. But, yeah. So this was the start that I was using. For my pig line, I thought, like I said, they were okay, but it was, it was uncomfortable. So uncomfortable. And I got a lot of cap for it to put on these. So these little guys go on this right here. So, but you have to clean it for about 10 to 20 seconds. And now you put the cap on, and you have to always, always keep washing your hand all the time. Like, I think that two to three times depends on what you're touching that is answer. So this is the eye mud guard to put um, under your needle on your port or pick line to keep it stabilized. You can also use um, gauze. But I'm gonna try this out and see if this goes. And maybe use guys also. Cause she's a safe, it's not in a uh, cover or anything because it was from a pig line. And I, if they, not in a package or still a package, I um, use them for my feeding tube. Cause my feeding tube likes to pop or break for no reason sometimes. So those from that and then these um 
I'm guessing for uh, the second shower. This is the aqua guy. So these, if you act it, and these are to use to take a shower. And you act it, and you take a shower or bath, you have to put a feet on it. If not, the water will get in. Would you pick it up? I don't think that would get in there. So, yes. And then this was the old, the other old clip that I had. Um, I don't use them anymore, but I just have them like just in case. This is these. They're kind of small, but they're the 22 gauge noodles, IV noodles. I also have um, the yellow one too. And then the gloves. And I have a load of masks. And then I also have this one with the 20 gauge too. A lot bigger, you can see. Just in case. And then here's another ivory star kit right here. The big one. Could use it for my port. Even if it is stuck, could use it for my port. But the dressing kit is not bigger than I expect it to be. And this is when I was trying to do these. And they don't work. I am so hard to poke and stick, and I've had two, three, no, two, two home hearts come out, tried to poke me in the beginning, before my poor mom picked them, couldn't do it, even the hospital couldn't do it, and if I would go to the hospital, they were like, uh, no, I'm going to go to out, yeah, no, but now I don't have to go. Now I don't have to go park at the hospitals anymore. They can just access my pool or I can just go. If I'm not feeling good and I already have my pool access, I can just go in. And I can also, I'm, for the reason why I have a pool, it's for IV hydration and iron infusion and two IV medications I'm supposed to be getting, but I need to contact my home house tomorrow in my doctor's office tomorrow about it because uh, I'm supposed to be getting an IV Zofran and I was also supposed to be getting vitamin to my port and I have not heard or seen anything and I knew I was supposed to be getting it in my paperwork that I got from my doctor's office before after I saw him. So look what it's that about. I've got anything so I'm gonna have to contact them tomorrow to find out. And then, see, I got more of these. I have a lot of them. Well, it's supposed to be also for my pick on, but I didn't really take a shower a lot. It's a bit line. I even have had it for two to three weeks, and I got infected, and not good. Let's just say that. And then I also have, since it wouldn't fit over there, I have these. This is my helping brushes. They're blue and yellow. I don't know why they uh, probably could get that out of the carbon brushes. But I was not. So they're the same thing basically, they're just different colors. So, 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 I guess there'll be blue and there'll be one and blue and one yellow. Basically the same thing. It's just 5 ml of the hyping flush. You might have to pull it back a little bit to get the, um, the air out of it before flushing it into your pole or your pick line. So this is the field. Alright, so you can put it on the dressing kit since it's so... And, yes. Go. I gotta use these so I can make sure I get blood in time and prevent blood clots and all that stuff. So, but, <laughs> that didn't go there with my pick line because, and my pick line could have got infected a lot of reasons to be. Either because I didn't stick up for myself when I had my pick line and uh, the nurse did not clean it well or do what's supposed to do and I flipped out and I didn't say anything. Oh, it could be many other reasons. 
but because I also had a blood clot on top of that, I uh, luckily caught it early because one day I had an I fell off, whatever, fell off, whatever. I was looking at broke up sweating with a high fever, with a fever, and it was not good. And I caught number one, and the rest of the day is that. Uh, yeah, you know what happened, you know what happened. I'm behind that. So, yeah, I caught number one, they took me to the ER. They weren't able to access my line, but they could, but they also could at the same time. And I had a blood clot. So now this arm is kind of messed up right now. This arm right here, which is my left arm, is basically messed up from my pig line because of the blood clot. This is my second blood clot I had on this arm. And now my nerves my nerves in my hand is so messed up and if I touch anything or like put pressure on my hand or like kinda like get up or push myself up or something, my nerve in my hand will hurt hurt so much and I get like, a lot of pins and needles and tingling in my hands at the point it's like hurting. Ever since that blood clot I got worse so not fun, but what it is, what it is. On uh, alcohol drug, there's not a lot in here because, I mean, there is a lot in here. The reason why I look like that is because I keep them in here. The nurse is like, I got the cute idea to do that. I'm like, I know, right? So, yeah. And then they only gave me two drugs, some kids, and turned to them. So this is what I got. So I had the split nod. She said Justin. Uh, he said Justin and God, God. So I put a tape and said the game. It's the patient's lover and it comes with a mask. Wine gloves, tape, margarine, towel, 16 by 19 alcohol swag, and color prep. Color prep is also. Color prep is to clean your dressing and, and stuff, so I got two of these. And then I also got, that also sent me to the game too. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to do it to game because my body is my body in every part is different. Cut either my shirt get a reaction to the tape or my arm does. And luckily when I had the IVs, I kept getting a reaction to them. And my arm was holding was really bad. But in this arm and it was horrible. So yeah. I don't know if I have the pictures in them. I don't know if I have pictures in them. So. And then I have alien flushes in here. I said I have more alien flushes, but I guess not. I'm going to have to contact my hotel. Because that's all I got. I hope I still do better. So let's see if I, yeah, I'm going to get it out of tomorrow or not. I'd be good too, but I would have to be really careful. I could just kind of fit in there. So, that is basically all of my IV supplies that I use and going to be using for my port. I even got a meal right here and a meal over there. And my mom can also help me out. And I can also have a nurse to come out and also clean up too. So, yeah. Still waiting for the nurse to come out. But my doctor gave me permission. And the ER and the hospital gave me permission because they all know me. And they know I kind of do everything by myself. But I, I was, but they said to have a nurse come out. Still, even once or twice a week to come out. So my poor and myself, everything's good. And make sure I am doing everything correctly. So, yes. 
Oh, as soon as I ever wrap my part in the guys. Now, kind of looking good on me up, but. See, let's just wrap my part in the guys today. Um. So. Yeah. My access. And it's been, well, uh, four weeks already since post app. So it's been four weeks post app. Clicking a lot better. Even the hospital's like, your poor head on really good. Even the doctors are like, damn, this head on really bad. Well. <laughs> I'm like, dang, because I've been cleaning it and missing something that's happened to it. Okay, oxygen supplies. It's the repertory supplies. I have this, my post art monitor, like the hospitals. But man, it's a lot smaller. I got, mm -hmm. I get the other, uh, because I technically don't use it like I'm supposed to. I just be lazy, put it on at night time, because I'm so tired and I don't want to wake up with my post art beeping and beeping and beeping. Constantly at night, it is love to be at me at night because my heart rate is low or my heart rate is high or my pulse rate is low. Not fun. So I kind of give up putting these on. I'm gonna start doing them again. Maybe the end of this month I will do them. So uh, this is what I'll be at night time. And sometimes when I'm sick. And then I have two medicines that I do. A Buddha and Oxivant. So Oxivant is when I'm sick and whatever, coughing and bad reason. Yeah, like really, really. So it's like, <laughs> and a Buddha is for my nebulizer and my IPV. And type of that, I forgot to mention too. I, I put it in. And here also, because I didn't know where to put it, and I can get into this zoo. Okay. Get it. This is what I also use for my IPV. I can't just take it out because I'm going to need it anyway. But I miss this. But I brewed a lot with this. This is basically pink saline, kind of like water. Uh, this goes with my IPV. My IPV is by my bed since I'm using it now. Before I better bed, waking up, it's like... Whatever, I don't care, but... Mm, before I get yelled at, because I'm not getting yelled at by my dad, so I get on. I might really... <laughs> I might get yelled at in April for no direct reason. So, yeah. But with my IPV, I... Uh, I use this kind of mask like this. Yeah, you can also do a mouth piece, but the only time I do the mouth one is at the hospital. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I hate mouth piece. I don't do mouth piece. Everything is mask. My nebulizer is mask. My IPV is mask. So, yeah. I use that. And then these are my puffers that go to my puffers. So this is the mask that I use for uh, my nebulizer stuff. This one is an adult mask. I kind of miss the kid mask because we don't know if you have respiratory issues or like asthma and you have to do treatments when you're a kid. It used to be like a little dinosaur. Oh my gosh, I miss that so much. Because I would like to take a little dinosaur thing. I might not use them because I'm funny. I love them. But now, since I'm an adult, I don't technically get them anymore. So. I like to ask for it, but I doubt it. They have them anymore. And then I also have this for my, uh, my oxygen tank. My, one of my oxygen is normally right there. But it's not because it stays out of my room. Because it makes my room really, really hot. And... My body's like, ah, nope, I'm gonna get stuck over So, yeah. My body gets stuck over a little thing. It is hot, I feel super sick to my stomach. And it's hot, oh my, uh, I don't feel good, whatever. 
don't know how these um, oxygen ascension and then these uh, to catch the water. I love these so much. If you have an oxygen uh, concentrator or something, these cards air life and the uh, IEF card number is 00186 They are on all of them. And I would ask you these. Normally I call them the water catcher. <laughs> sometimes my home health for my oxygen supply, you know what I'm talking about, sometimes they don't. So, yeah. so I also have these. And then there's a screen and then this is my oxygen supply I don't have to change them until next week. So that is good. So that's pretty good. And the other thing I'm like upset about is because they don't make them like they used to make them. I would have to cut those damn things off. I would have to cut them because it is basically a new one. I have to cut them all the time. And it's, it's so hard to cut. It's so hard to cut, but they are. To cut. I'm like, really, I just cut them then. And then I have the Dutch the Water Lab cup humidifier for my oxygen. So I'm supposed to put it up to between this line and this line. That's how much you normally put it up. I put it halfway. Sometimes I put it up all the way and I get yelled at for putting it up all the way. I need some of the yard eyes by my home heart. Like to yell at me. Like, do you feel it up all No, I don't. And I just got the oxygen and now it starts not one of the blow air like it's supposed to. So I will come my home heart, but I'm not going to get it. Okay, feeding supplies. I use Cape Bomb. Puppet tonight, 1.5. So yeah. I use this, um, I use this to make my food, I used to have, um, the infinity pump, but now I'm back to the joy pump because of water, I'm gonna get all the hydrations I need, and luckily we got the previous day, it's gonna not know my, or either hydration or, or it could be my immune health, but I am immune and I see an acknowledgement. Those are some parts of some of y'all like, why are you an acknowledgement? An acknowledgement is for people who have cancer or whatever. They're not just for cancer, they're also for blood, too. They do blood diseases. Any type of blood diseases, like amenia or cancer or whatever. So, I gotta get to run next week for my blood because I'm amenia and I need to get... I am feeling so lovely. And then these are the bags that I use. They come, they, sometimes they come on one, sometimes they come in two. But I always get the purple and blue. Which is the blue is water, the purple is feed. Joy pumps. It says Joy pumps that with the flesh bag. So. I ain't feeling really sick right now. But I could I eat. I might not that nasty, but I'm kind of eating. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> look at look at that. This is this is my old one. My old one. So that's it. Okay. And then I also have the black. I tried it with my pickle on my two before. That's not work. They don't work. I don't know if it's I heard everybody love them and they're not working for me. Let's see, I'm gonna take it because why not? And then my doctor also. What's it, my doctor? Uh, uh, I always ask my doctor. Uh, he prescribed me um, clothes to Oh, 
for my food and chip because my food and chip is red as heck. Oh, but we'll call it mad. It is angry mad and it irritated that bad. It's not like it used to be, but it was that bad. Where's my mother's son? Where's my mother's son? I left it far. Found it. Found it. I. This is be the first time taking it. So, this is a help for shop I don't really take medication on my house. But I heard a Zyrphan, it must, you just put it under your tongue, and it must go. I started at the hospital, and that was. But when they did it with the IV, it helped. So I need to get the IV on. I cut my water, but I didn't. And from G2. So, I feel like I gotta go to the bathroom too right now, so. Since I can't throw up, um, I have to take the door and then I'll go to the bathroom. So you know what I meant. Not throwing up at the other part. I don't know if you can hear my stomach, but it's like making so much noise right now. And it's not that big. Okay, good. And yet, I try to put you up into my tape after, but. Hopefully that helped. And then, uh, uh, maybe I'll take you in some water. Uh, I'm not going to. I'll wait for a minute. Oh yeah, this is all of my medication. My medication for my feeding. Oxygen stuff, which is respiratory, it's all my respiratory stuff, and then my IV stuff. Yeah, beatings, respiratory, and IV stuff. Pretty cool. I do need to put my laundry away, but my body's like, oh, I'm good. I might even get yelled at later by my dogs because they're gonna be like, why are you eating by my? I'm on a family. I ate some enchiladas. I'm not enchiladas. Uh, I ate um lasagna. I need to change. So I can get ready to go to bed. I'm tired. And it's only 8 Friday. But anyways, yeah, that's my house. That is all of my medical supplies. I do need to put my feet on. Because I made it, so. Yeah. Also, the reason I'm posting on here and I'm not on social media is because I'm taking a break from social media, so. If you're gonna contact with me, ask someone, ask a friend of mine if you know my friend or whatever. Or if you, ask, or if you know my boyfriend. 
I'm gonna add to them. Yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna go put some pajamas on and go to bed, rock and TV and go to bed. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this video of my medical supplies. Not be soon. Yeah. Alright, well, I've been going to bed early anyways. I've been going to bed quite 10 to 12. Since 10 o'clock to 11.30, I've been going to bed. And I've been waking up at like 6, 7 o'clock in the morning. Just getting my day started, even I'm not doing anything. So, I mean, I would vlog, but... I'm like, what's the point of vlogging when I just sit in bed all day? So, anyways, I'm gonna end the video here. I'm gonna go get dressed and get ready for bed. And turn on my light. So I can turn this light off. Anyway, bye y'all.